challenge there? What's in, what's in are your strategy? Because, um, you know, the people getting the information and, and fighting fake news, mm -hmm. and people as well with the insights on social media, um, you know, you need that promptness perhaps for react mm -hmm. to them mm -hmm. or for clarify issues. Mm -hmm. what, what's the strategy of, of, of your ministry or you as a minister in addressing this? So first, um, first uh, I got a very supportive family mm -hmm. because the kind demands the way they take on my time. Yeah, you can forget a supportive and understanding family. My wife and beginner and clearly understand say this is national service. Mm. So I spend a lot of time doing it. Even when I go home, you go for study this, you go for read yeah. this, for respond to that. The president makes a speech, whether he did or not. You go for digester. Yeah, when I go for call me, international media. So a very challenging. What's not the strategy? The biggest challenge we don't do now. You know, I address the media once. Eh? I said, when I go for guard against the invasion mm. of a profession by, by people that want likes them, they want for generate. Mm. Huh? You don't sacrifice everything. So part of the thing, uh, you know, recently I started a Facebook Live program. Yeah. I go for the day today again, 8 o'clock. Mm. Um, it might be coming to you outside, free time today. Mm -hmm. um, so now one place that we find for log on to RAM, log on and follow within the app on all things government. Mm. You see current what's happening in government. But even before the inauguration of this Facebook Live program, you know, you know, so we'll get a very active um, Ministry of Information Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, we'll get that in the day. I mean, as it happened, we we'll break the news day. Fake news, um, it don't become the biggest elephant in yeah. the room. Because um, they are the level of all side misinformation, disinformation, fake news. You know, because sometimes the politicians instead the generator. Yeah. You know, very, very sad. Mm -hmm. You know, so we get for continue. Um, we we'll work with Sludge. Uh, I don't. I don't launch a couple of projects than before now. You remember Dubawa mm -hmm. and Salon, Salon, Salon Fact Checker. Yeah. We we'll don't launch all in one and they so we we'll work with them and the media institutions there, even with the bloggers there, mm -hmm. various um, for make sure say we able better. But it's 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 a very challenging thing. Yeah, information reaching the people. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I see the president go around yesterday, and I was saying. Mm -hmm. I mean, somebody, we, we get some populists believing I'm small, but I believe, say, it should, mm. be, it should go with some discipline and enforcement of the law. Mm. Um, demystifying the presidency, mm. uh, getting information, and una when are people are within a part, so the people mm. to understand the things, mm. where government they do, the challenges. Mm. How much of that outreach your ministry they do? And you think, say, una don't do much in these four years? Well, so, um, from the start of times, uh, we always oh, meet on occasions with the read, with the read al fatiha mm. From the start of times, we wouldn't recite the Lord's Prayer. Hmm? So information dissemination, you know, they reach a point, say, the people that don't get saturated. Mm. It's an ongoing and continuous engagement. From when we become minister, mm. or even before I become minister, this is what we have been doing. Would they continue to do that? Huh? Probably with more vim, vigor, and vitality, mm. right? Um, we got various social media platforms with the engage there. Uh, arguably, I say, men are the Minister of Information and Communications. We don't, we don't engage the media more than any other in the history of this country. Mm. I can always all, also guarantee you, say, I have put boots on the ground than any other in the history of this country. Because I go to these communities and they tell me. Mm. So we're engaging. But like I say, information, this is a fast changing and dynamic world. Mm. So, it's a continuous process. We will continue to do that. Um, very recently, um, you see, say the president said, you know, he's been the most demystified president in the history of a country. Mm. I mean, other president and the big them for letting them talk to the media. Mm. Huh? This president, you know, the only stopper at the media cocktail, mm -hmm. and they also bring her, they kind of on a studio there. Mm -hmm. They open himself up to questioning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that, they got respect for the citizens and we vote for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so apart from that one day, you find out, say, you know, both local and international media open up to them. Mm -hmm. They talk, so 
this is but, this but, but is accountable I, governance. This is waiting on a young target. I know you have the strategic communications unit. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have you have people who um, you, you know you expect to 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 give the information out, speak yes. to the people. It, that, that that level of usai the public na the the community level go understand government programs and policies mm -hmm. and 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 you know if somebody they out fake news if they go say no this is what the minister say or this is what someone from government said you think someone able to achieve that not well like i say it's an ongoing process just like we they recite the alfatia every time you the mm -hmm. muslim mm -hmm. you are know they say the lord's prayer and they talk all the time mm -hmm. yeah so we will continue to do more and more and more Okay. You know, say, we've been on decentralized press conferences. Mm -hmm. At all press conferences everywhere in this country, my team they go around, anytime we get a major issue, or even on continuing government engagement, would they do that? Would they continue to do that? It doesn't get to a point where they get saturated, particularly where we're not to a monolithic entity. What's in that mean? Not to one side. Mm -hmm. Other people in the back where they feed the same thing into yeah, the same, same mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. In the days of citizen journalism, you get opposition, you get civil society, it's all money put in, into the mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah? But as government, we we'll continue for make sure, say, we we'll lead the narrative. Did or where there is fake news or misinformation, we we'll correct and timelessly. The president just appoints, um, you know, Alaji Alpha Kanu as, mm -hmm. as, yeah. as in presidential spokes, spokesman. Yeah. What do you make of that as the Minister of Information? Well, so it, it further goes to cement His Excellency's credentials. Mm -hmm. Yeah? As somebody who does not see uh, grains of sand, he sees the whole beach. He does not see trees, he sees the forest. Mm -hmm. um, now, Sarah Union, he looks for the very best Sarah Unions there. For work with, irrespective of your political affiliation, irrespective of who I come from, mm. that is what it shows. And for, it doesn't mean you, you know the people the way they handle the president in communications, not they do well. Make it needs to bring someone else. And who Kylie was here, he was said mm. the, 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 the president no need for being somebody where this government been don't say was part of a government. We get mm. corrupt people and all of that. Mm. Is it that you've not been able to deliver that someone else needs to be brought? Who in? has not been able to deliver? You as a minister of government it's, part, it's never been part of my No, 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 brief. but generally you speak for the government. You no, no, speak no, but the, I don't the, speak for the president. No, no, but, but I have never but the been president the president is part of government. No, 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 no. Lamrana, mm -hmm. let us let us do justice to our people. It okay. is not for it is not for um, we see the president mm -hmm. from the start of times. Mm -hmm. May now, Minister of Information and Communications, are they speaking the bold issues around government? We include the president. No, no, no. You, 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 so, no, no, no. You've so spoken, you don't talk about things that we're going to no, do no, with so government. For, because now cross cut issues. Exactly. I've been talking about statements no. the way the president No, made. so if you don't tell me, see, if you don't tell me, see, mm. he had no reason, for example, for the appoint and from mm. having an issue mm. from the start of time. So it been get, it been get. He always had a presidential spokesperson, right? Yes. Yeah, so. Yes. You, so the question is, bringing someone from outside, Alaji Alpha Kanu says... Oh, I, is, I, I, it, I always hear the more the merrier. Mm. The more the merrier. Okay, so you're that's, okay. That's you, an additional pair of hands. So of you, feel, you feel comfortable? Absolutely. Okay. He also brings, he also brings to, to the team over 10 or 11 years of experience. Uh, by the way, Alaji Alpha Khan and I uh, come from the same aviation background. Mm. While he was in the private sector, I worked for government. Mm. So we have been acquaintances for the longest time. He handed over power to me as my most immediate uh, predecessor. Mm -hmm. So there is a chemistry. The, you, you know, there is there is strategic communications unit at State House. Yeah. You have a strategic communications unit. Yeah. You have the press secretary. Mm -hmm. You have the presidential spokesman. You're minister mm -hmm. of information and communication. Yeah. Most recently, there was an interview you granted on the, to the BBC, and mm -hmm. there was this question about emails mm -hmm. sent to State House communications. I want to ask, how, how do you coordinate communication as, as a government to respond to, to respond to critical issues? Okay, you mean to the CNN? Yes, the interview you granted yes, to, to the CNN. CNN they, BBC, they spoke right. about an email yeah. that they sent yeah, to the Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those things. It's one of those things. It fell between the cracks. Mm. You know, ordinarily, you know, State House and I... imagine. State House and I... No, no, no. We have such a great chemistry, mm. such a great nexus. We are so collaborative. And you were, we you were on the firing line for, for what well, State so, House could have done somebody in respond to an to, email. Somebody has to be on the firing line. Okay. They could be on the firing line because of... of, of, of so does, my, that confirm, my, does, does that confirm there is a lapse? There is a lapse in, in the communication in the well, office? To, in to, the, expect, to expect 
uh, we are running a perfect system will be an overestimation. Mm. You know, no system is perfect. Mm. Um, that was one blip on the radar. That okay. is not a normal thing. So, so I was asking, how, how could you think that could be handled better? You know, it, it, situations like then and day. Well, it was, how, it, was, it we... was a teachable moment for everybody. Mm. Uh, we have taken um, the necessary steps to ensure that doesn't. Who is taking again. responsibility for that? We are not on trial, Lamrana. No, I mean, we are we not. Are, I'm just are, asking. Set house, are, is, house are, is the people's house. We're no, talking no, no, about government. Even in your house, <laughs> mm -hmm. things that happen in the room, you don't necessarily. No, no, my know house is a private the place. The state house is, is, is well, government. House, We're talking about government. No, no, no. So you hold people accountable. Have you ever had the theory of the black box? I'm mm -hmm. a political scientist. Mm -hmm. There is a black box theory. Yeah. 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 I, yeah? Mm -hmm. Those what things we do in cabinet, we don't necessarily. No, set house is not. I'm not asking about cabinet. I'm asking about. Communication, you've agreed. You don't confirm, say, um, you know, this is something we could have been handled in a better way. No, 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 I did not say so. I said that mm -hmm. was a blip on the radar. Yes. And so what does that mean? It's a teachable, it's a learning opportunity. So someone didn't, do, someone didn't do their work. Oh, definitely. And I, I can understand why. It probably could have gone to the spam folder. But I don't want us to split hairs over this. Okay, but that is yeah. important until we're on international media. I can imagine the mini, my minister is, is talking about, you know, an email sent to sit out. But you listened to my response at the time. Yeah, I listened to the interview. It is not but what as I'm, if this email was sent to Yusuf Keketo Masandi or Honorable Alpha Car, yeah. right? Yeah. At State House. But, but State House You know, gives, they send it to State a House generic send, address. State House so send those email addresses when they send their notices <coughs> out. They put them there for more information, send I, email. I, 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 I hear you. I hear you. Mm. We are not minimalizing the importance of what you raised. Mm. I'm just saying we have learned lessons from this, and appropriate steps have now been taken to ensure that we do not have a recurrence in future. Do you enjoy a very good relationship with people at who works on communications at State House? Absolutely. We are all on first name terms. We are great friends. Mm. Yeah, sometimes. And we you work believe together. they've been doing their job? They've they've been working with the presidency, disseminating his information, responding to issues the right way, you believe so? Well, that 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 is a decision, that's an opinion. My opinion on that matter is not important. But I've it had is. A, I've, you're the I've, minister of no, information. No, no, no. I've had a great relationship <laughs> for the, with them. Yeah. yeah. I know they treat their work very seriously. Um, we have delivered on extremely You think they could do better? Well, I could also do better. No, I'm yeah. asking you about don't get them. To a point where you cannot do better. No, I'm asking about them. I'm asking. You think they could no, no, do no, better no. So as I, Minister of Information and Communication? As my interviewer, you could do better than this. No, I, I understand. I'm not I asking about. Do no, I'm asking. Well, should, do you do you think you think they, they should or they should do, do you think they should do better? They should. We all should do better. Okay. We all should do better. We can do better. I know we have what it takes to do better, and we are pushing our own limits. We are pushing the envelope. To ensure that we deliver more and better for the people of Sierra Leone. Mr. Minister, four years down the line, mm -hmm. are you convinced that um, you do you work diligently? The, the, the communication people um, of this government don't do their work diligently? I think we've done a fantastic job. Okay. I'll give you a context. Okay. In 2017, you had, for example, only 360,000 people on social media. Today, we have in the region of 1.2 million people, each of them, you know have their own agenda, have their own views. So we have been able to manage all of that. I think we have done a phenomenal job in extremely difficult circumstances. Okay. <clears throat> I interviewed so your Samoa and I had the last time. I don't know mm. if you watch him. No, no, watch him. Okay. I'll okay. play that video really quick with Soyo Samoa mm. in, in opinion about the comms people information mm. with, with, with the government. Then I can't forget your response. Okay, please. Mm. The people not get patient, but what? I, the one thing with me, I realized way wrong, particularly with this government, they don't communicate to the people. They don't talk to the people. Of course, they come at a time where the world is mm. tough. Mm. The world, not bad luck, maybe, because um, COVID, for the past three years, it is just impossible. And I know they say make the user excuse, mm. and now plus Putin. So, Unfortunately for them, this past four years, it's difficult, even if you go big, mm -hmm. the one way for you, no, no, yourself not get right now. Mm -hmm. But what they should have done, 
communicate all of this to the people so that the people understand and focus at least on one or two so that the people know that we have the will. Because I think I sometimes talk to uh, the president. I know there is the will. He, mm. he expressed certain things. There is willpower to deliver certain things. Of course, he's surrounded by people who um, are of self-interest, who people who are selfish, people who are greedy, and I, it worries me. All the leader then will we get, we then get them people that surround them, then people that they quiz their neck, and then get their own dreams. But if they're not careful, now then people that they make them drown in their dreams, they decide where they surround them. And this is what he is facing, that challenge day. I not think, say, is that surrounding self with people who, um, will work robustly for Sierra for deliver. Leone, okay. for deliver for Sierra Leone, for say, day and night. I don't care what the people say. I don't care what my family say. Again, the one problem of this particular regime, they have not been talking to the people. Because even if you travel, um, what you travel for before you go, you are accountable to, to the, people. the people when they elect you. Tell them, mm -hmm. I am going A, B, C, D. And if it's possible where you come, show them what you go for. But I think that's uh, one of his weakness uh, um, or his team. Um, interview with Sorios. And um, I just want to read uh, another post um, where a tweet where Sylvia, Dr. Sylvia Blyden do. Um, after you interview with Becky in our CNN. It's a spectacular work by at Becky CNN just now in exposing President Bill's State House communication. So embarrassing, and it was done live on air. Poor info minister, Swarega Man, was left struggling live on air, and he could only say the important CNN emails fell between the cracks. And he got this other one where, um, you know, you talk about the meeting where presidents be all with, with stakeholders them na, na, na state house. And she was referring directly to um, a comment JJ Safar made about, you know, oh, the only issue was not communication. It wasn't um, about um, gap in communications. And she believes and agrees that there's, she, there's been that, that level of some gap in communication. You've, okay. you've had. Yeah, I don't know how to respond to Sorios. Yeah. Um, uh, Sorios, now, one, one Sierra Leonean we were all supposed to be very proud of. He has had uh, a distinguished and illustrious career. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also think, say, you know, instead of play into the hands of the usual people. You see down there, mm. uh, there has never been a time where the president, they come off from overseas trips there, who oh, not a drum on rooftops mm. across this country. Mm. Yeah? I mean, you don't have to like us to give us that credit. This is fact. He does not live here. Mm. Yeah? So I think that's that's the danger with being an instant expert. Okay. Yeah? Mm. But we, so you we disagree with him on that? I disagree with him. But like I say, <laughs> With communication, you don't get to a point of saturation. You mm. continue for doing. You continue for doing. We have been the most accountable administration, like I say. The president himself, in his own words, in the president would open himself up to the most scrutiny. The council don't know how to na. When they ask him, they go to all radio stations there. And this is not to hear no more. Even when he goes to the provinces, they take interviews there. They address traditional leaders there. We not left down the gear. We say like I say, and I want anybody for challenging me. I have uh, done more media engagements in the life of this administration than any other minister of information since independence. I want let anybody prove that to the contrary. So, so what is the problem? Is it people are not understanding no, no, or the no, message no. get problem no, for no, letting people no, understand? No, not so down at the point. Mm. Like I say, you know, we don't use for talk one side talk. Before now, like I say, what Dr. Spencer been saying to me, eh? you only had SLBC. Government been get virtual monopoly over information management. SLBC, read the news, that was it. Pass Attila in radio station, go counter something. What is it don't say? Social media, not the internet, not the, you go there, you ask for right to respond, right? That is what has been the case. So now you, more, you get more work now, Yann. Of course, more than any mm -hmm. other, more than any of my other predecessors. Mm -hmm. um, Dr. Alpha Khan, we hand over to me, mm -hmm. he had only about 360,000 people uh, on social media. And I said people being in opposition. Mm -hmm. uh, we were, we get our own way where they do constructive criticism. We they do Wednesday press conferences. We go sit down there, we prefer alternative policy positions. Mm. That is no longer the case. 
is Dr. Sylvia Blyde, like I mentioned. Now, now other person himself, we, we believe, say, mm. he, he just see the tweets. We, yeah, at, the council, at the council, the person we talk about the JJ Safawa. Yes. No, it's, it's, it's Dr. Blyden. It's not the oh, person no, no, we no. talk about. So, on now and then, Dr. Mm. Blyden, our expert, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm uh, a friend. Eh? Yeah. But on this one, mm -hmm. I think so we we'll get divergent views. Okay. Because when we say the August 10th insurrection, bloody insurrection, was funded, was organized, Huh? They mobilize people for it and all ends in a day. It cannot be a communications gap. Mm. Yeah? She this said, was... there's been, she said, you know, imagine, let me just no, give no, it no. to you. Put Where it down to communications is... gap. Mm -hmm. but so na 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 she said, she, the, the right word used, mm. he said, she said, imagine JJ, JJ says it does not see information vacuum being complained about. No, 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 no. So, as they say, information. Dissemination. Mm -hmm. Now, see now on the way, you know, they reach a point where you say, we don't, we don't achieve 100% now, not the door. Yeah. We will continue to do it. And Chief Minister, certain way, the quotes on this thing. Mm -hmm. Now, one person will believe that one day. Mm -hmm. In fact, he believes we have been so focused on um, rural youth, uh, a thing say, we we'll forget a more programmatic approach for targeting urban youth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with government information and probably support. Over the period, we have had. NGOs come, youth at risk, yeah. youth this, that, that, yeah. donor funding. Day. After one, two years, donor funding, non do and that kind of thing. So he says it is not just enough, and I saw the president said, think it is not just enough that um, we can't uh, we can talk, talk to people. They might not talk. So you disagree with Dr. Blyden and say there has not been any vacuum on, on communication? No, 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 no. So my position is this is work in progress. We we'll okay. continue to push the boundaries. Okay. Yeah, so, so, so we are communicating, but we can do more. I, I, Bishop Tamba Charles, in the meeting mm. where President gets with them, mm. you know, give the same sentiment about mm. not knowing much about what government is doing. No, 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 no. So, so I mean, he's a very revered clergyman. Yeah. Um, I get the most profound respect for him. Uh, he was talking in a limited context because mm. every a month or two earlier, huh? The inter-religious council and I met mm. when we were having salary and cost of commodities and then petroleum issues. We did a presentation today and they were very excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I'll sure say we talk in another context. But mm -hmm. bottom line, and they, they express now that same meeting where they talk, they express their appreciation, say, we they call them regularly, we they talk to them. All we wanted to do the commissions of inquiry, we spoke to all the salient stakeholder groups. Is it that you're not the problem, but the people who the messengers, the other messengers. I'm part of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe people who listen to you and understand what you're saying. Maybe there are other people who you work with or who are part of the communications team who they actually don't, don't, don't feel they're giving the right message. Is, is, is there a problem you, you believe so? Well, you tell me. The messenger you know, is as important they, as the they, message. They say the ISC is not a self, but by reflection. You yeah, tell but people me. do self self introspection. We as do well. that a lot. Even yeah. this morning, I had I had I had I had a conversation with the team. Um, the team. The team is being rebooted. Okay. If you like. To do better. Well, to do their best mm. in the circumstance. To do their best you, in the circumstance. You satisfied with the people where they talk for, for government, apart from you, um, saying at the strategic communications team, you think they have the credibility and capacity to do it? Oh, a person not get the credibility and the capacity. may not they put you. Mm. Because I put that team together with His Excellency's blessing. Okay. So if, what, I, have what, weak what? Links, if I have weak links there, I take full personal responsibility. But even in this, in this, your team here as AYV, mm -hmm. everybody is not on the A game. And mm -hmm. there are different degrees and levels of performance. Even in the, in the, in the best football teams, mm -hmm. in the best administrations, there are always different gradations of performance. What will you say about Alpha Saido? I was standing there a few days ago, and some of the reactions about him being part of government communications has been very negative from, from people in, in the public, people that will watch the program. Some others have also been very positive. I yeah. also have very reviews about oh, his. Okay, his. you believe he did well? Well, I watched part of that program. I did not watch it to the end. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes. You satisfied? I, I, I didn't watch the whole program. You're satisfied, but you're satisfied. With his performance? Yes. Oh, he's, he's always willing to take on additional duties. He's, he's, he's very, very, very loyal and committed to his duties. Yeah? Mm -hmm. If you ask Alpha Saido now, you call him Midnight, mm -hmm. I want him to go on a program uh, at DJ basis. Mm -hmm. He'll be on his way there. Okay. Uh, yes, he's a willing pair of hands. You, you don't think, 
you know, perhaps the credibility of certain people, the way they talk for government, they affect the message itself. You don't think so? All you tell me, I mean, this is also a learning opportunity. I don't know about that. No, I'm asking. You know people. I know people you hire, you do their background check. You, yes. you want to know about them. You want to, um, you know, evaluate so, their so, work so, so, as well. So that's me even tell you. Mm -hmm. In fact, that is what brings additional credibility. You see somebody like Honorable Alpha Khan, mm -hmm. yeah? Uh, he had very critical views about uh, His Excellency President Bill, but he didn't know him. He knew him from a distance. Same for Alpha Saido. He has unsaid all of the things he said about President Bill. And you know what that brings out about this president? Mm. He is a very forgiving person. Okay. He does not have a savings bank in his heart to keep grudges. Okay. Yeah? You know the two people I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. But he, sees, he does not see the weaknesses of people. He sees their strengths and their potential to contribute to national development. That is why he brought them. I, I, so contrary to the characterization of the president, mm. he is not a vindictive person. Uh, he's very forgiving. He's an all-embracing Sierra Leonean leader. Andrew Kiley of Ponder, my thoughts, he say yeah. the messenger is, is, is very important, sometimes even than the message. So man, the way you call them, saying that this person, they can't talk. People go for Sidom, go and Sidom and listen to them. Mm. And uh, you mentioned people who have said things about the president, about the SLPP itself, mm. and um, government. They didn't know the president. Uh, so, so they are born again. Well, whether they are rechristened or born again, <laughs> I wouldn't say. Yeah. But you know, when you get close to President Bill, mm. that is when you know how very personable he is. That is when you know how very committed he is to the, to the rebound of this nation. That is when you get to know how all-inclusive he is. That is when he, you get to know, you can literally feel the temperature of the passion he feels mm. for the upward mov movement of this country, particularly young people. And I remember at yesterday's cabinet meeting, mm -hmm. he, he deeply bemoaned the current situation of youth unemployment and his urge cabinet to go beyond the traditional mechanisms to address in that. So that is the kind of man. So if you get close to him, that is when you begin to value his, his, his humanity. And the president is satisfied that they're speaking for him and on his behalf. Well, he is very satisfied. You, you seem to he appointed He appointed Honorable Alpha Khan, for example. Mm -hmm. He didn't do so with a gun to his head. It was on his own free volition. He has presidential power, the prerogative to hire and fire. He hired him, right? Um, after a previous appointment as, you know, uh, you know, a regional minister, right? Alpha Saido has worked with me all these years. I, I hired him, and I, I am happy with his performance. You seem to be a very powerful man. Really? I, I, there That's was, how I wish I knew. There was a video of, of, of you know, you and the former IG get some arguments immediately mm. after it. A day after, I think. And he was, he was sent on leave, as government say, or he was changed, and a new IGP um, was announced. Um, the president is very satisfied with you, right? I wouldn't know. You may have to ask him that. No, I be. If I work for me, boss, I go know if he glad with the work what they do. Mr. Well, I know he's not. I know he's not angry with me. He's happy. I know he's not angry with me. But you know, if he's happy and satisfied, he's. Well, he has not told me he's dissatisfied with my performance. But but based on based on una, on on interaction, the way boss glad if work money they know, but. Well, uh, <laughs> well, uh, as, well, alhamdulillah. Okay. Alhamdulillah, I still continue to enjoy. Uh, the pleasure of His Excellency. So that is why, like when I say, I know the turn down interview, mm. I'm always ready. I like I don't like to betray trust. I don't like to betray trust. He chose me out of 7.3 million Saralinians. Some of them more competent than me. Some of them have worked harder than me. Some of them more experienced. So because the Lord fell on me, I must not let him down. Huh? And you have served him. Ensure that Yes, I'll continue to serve him with dedication and all the, all the vim, vigor, and vitality in me. You've served him to the best of your ability. Absolutely. I'm going to continue to push the boundaries. Quickly, we can't talk about the, the um, Wednesday, August 10th incident. Um, yeah. Show your samurai in that statement. They talk not only about the communication, talk about people who are surrounded by the president, um, who should share his vision, who should sacrifice and do a lot. You, you agree with him on that? Well, so you see, um, 
I'm, I wonder, but you don't host me now, either from where, where they go, Makenia, they go to them provincial places and all, mm -hmm. or they go to markets then, they talk to people there mm -hmm. about the, 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 the global economic challenges and what this government they do for, for, for address some of them challenges. Then they, mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. if, we get, if we get opportunity, we'll go to probably every village. Yeah? But we have worked very hard. He's you talking know. about people who work with the president to be selfless. People that we go sacrifice, don't care about what the family says, what people say. But, but I start, that was how but, I started my own. My but own. get the dedication, the vision of the president. But now, so I start me. Oh, start now, so I tell you. Mm. You now you ask, say, look, if I get time for the other thing, I say, well, I, I owe that to my family. So, so, so. Will they continue for, for sure understanding mm. and they support me? For make sure, say, uh, continue for service excellency with all my vigor and ability. And you believe people in governments as well, in other, uh, you know, other ministers have been doing that sacrifice? Well, I think people are doing that because, you know, but ultimate appraisal of all, it rests with His Excellency. The president. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. Because Mr. A presidential appointee, you say a powerful, I seem to be powerful. Mm. If I were powerful, I will make people not break there. The, the president. You know, so, so why you talk about? I mean, that is that is Facebook <laughs> gossip. You, you are aware That's of it. You, you, the, presi the president consults you before you do that sacking day, or what was was <laughs> was that interaction? That, that, you that you no, I'm asking. Me look like no, I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm asking. You were you were on that ground, and we well, all that. The catalog of human beings. Yeah, you are to consult no, but before the, he takes no, a but, decision. But, you spoke about, we spoke about demystifying the presidency <laughs> and power. The president is a human the being. They can speak to people. The president, if no. they consult people, they're not, they're not one of them, they consult. Yeah. You're a minister. You sit oh, with him in cabinet. To, he has to consult ministers. No, I'm just he saying. Maybe he has, he has a conversation. Okay, <laughs> did you did you discuss that? Was it something you discussed? The about? president's right to hire and fire is Mr. Not Minister, negotiable. I clearly understand the president's right. I understand mm. he's powerful. I understand mm. the powers, the constitution, uh, where the constitution gives. I'm asking mm. the president, a mortal man. Mm -hmm. You've known the president before. He was elected as president. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he speaks to people. Well, I'm not. I'm asking those, in that I'm context. I'm not one of those that he gives that privilege. Okay. Yeah. Of whether he wants to appoint somebody or he wants to fire somebody, I okay. don't enjoy that privilege. But, I wish I did. But how do you think about that coincidence after that issue with you and the IG? But that issue had nothing to do with anything now. Come on. I mean, it was only but proper. I don't want to go back to that issue. Mm. I mean. We were invited to a press conference eh? after it had rained cats and dogs the whole night. Eh? We went there. You were there yourself, right? No, I wasn't. You were, you were not, okay? Yes, someone was from AYV was there. Yeah, one so of my colleagues. I just raised concern that, look, we have been here for all this time. Nobody can get sacked for that. You will not even be queried for that. <laughs> you know that. And boom, the you man. Are just, you are just trying to and make boom, the man a was, mountain out of a molehill. Boom, the man was fired you after that. You are trying that. to make a mountain out of a molehill. Okay, uh, Mr. Minister, let's, let's, let, 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 we talk, let we talk about, um, you know, the Wednesday, August 10th incident. The um, government say, the president in his address to the nation say, an insurrection, you know, and... Um, People and die. The police send and don't beg them. What's what the status of the civilians? Well, so um, last time I checked, which was two days ago, um, you remember government had put out a, a, a call statement yeah. for loved ones to come to the Connaught Mortuary to identify um, their loved ones, family mm -hmm. members to identify their loved ones. Um, so far, we have had 11 people as at yesterday. Who had gone there to record to, to, to identify their loved ones. Um, after that, I'm sure post mortem ought to have started, right? I mean, this is the normal process, the due process. Okay. That's ongoing, and this will be done with family members in sync. How many people, how many civilians are we talking about? Uh, we have uh, in the region of 27. 27 people? Yeah. The government consider all the way as people them way been participating at the protest or people them way, um, you know, we, families and don't care where they complain, say they need access to, they want the, the body, they want to go back. Some are claiming that some of the people them way, way die, mm. we are not actually involved in the protest. Well, so my, my, my information is that um, people were killed on August 10 in the cause of the bloody insurrection, like you mentioned. Mm. Right? Um, government has committed, is committed 
to ensuring that they get befitting funeral rights. Mm. You know, so, the government investigates how how they died. But you know, to, an investigation committee yes, has been yes, set up. Yes, the investigation so committee. So that will be part of the terms of reference. All of those. No, will the be investigation committee is 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 to investigate what in cause the protest. No, no, they it doesn't the, stop at that. Those okay. are some of the limbs of the investigation. Of the people who. Those are who some died. of the yeah. Okay, then additional. Are you well down the in? What in they bring down the out? Now autopsy report. Now they bring down the out. Okay. Yeah. Government regrets and government regret that uh, innocent, oh, possibly for the, people. For His Excellency, every Sierra Leonean life is precious, it's valuable. So any Sierra Leonean life who lost is unfortunate. Yeah? So now that they make it all undertake, say, everybody will die, will be given a befitting funeral. And now that they make, we don't do the announcement, they don't extend and say, I think to Tuesday next week, mm -hmm. right? For their family members, then can identify their loved ones, then let them proceed with post mortem, and we'll go sit down together, we we'll agree the mode of barrier and next steps. It, it seems that there, there is some fear, some level of fear. I see the ministry, fear, it, it, some people, there are some people who might be scared to come forward okay, and so identify their people. I want to assure people. those people mm -hmm. on behalf of government that they have nothing to fear, let them come, work with the Ministry of Internal Affairs for identify their loved ones there, and government will take the necessary, then will do post mortem, and together we will sit with them and plan the barrier. He, 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 so, government is committed to doing that. No one should be, should be no, afraid no, that no, they will no, be arrested. Nobody's not or... afraid. Nobody's not afraid. Okay. And so far, people when they come? We don't get a levy as at yesterday. I should say more people go down, come forward. Um, you know, you see um, lawyer Dumoya in letter. I see yeah. right letter, then copy me on today. Mm. Um, it said, Ain't go yesterday. They don't go see one of them cops this Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, now the relation, they ask for it, they did for post mortem. Of okay. course, that's the essence. Yeah. The committee where government don't set up, you know, um, waiting at the timeline. Uh, so, I'm not going to say now, but there's clearly an air of urgency. They don't begin work? Yes, if we don't get for sitting, there's an air of urgency. And that's, however, mm. not the sacrifice diligence on the altar of urgency. Because at the end of the day, we want a report. We will speak to all the key and critical issues there, right? And timeously, too. So those twin considerations, huh? the, 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 the need for diligence mm -hmm. and rigor in the investigations and you know, timeliness. So that is being taken into consideration. His Excellency has impressed that on their minds. A section of the public don't already, they, they, they question some of the people who are members of this committee or mm. some of the institutions even. Mm. Um, institutions and the way don't pull statements where we, to, to, to some people they already don't get their own position. Say mm. yes, this is waiting government say, this is what they're moving with, this is what happened. How, how credible will 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 they be? How credible will the report, the outcome of this so, be? That I'll, it can be accepted. That it can be accepted okay, so let's, by the let's, people. Let's get it this way. Lamrana, if we put you on a committee today, mm -hmm. some people will find fault with you. Okay. This is the nature of the country we live in. Mm. Yeah? But I know, I know some of those people who have been appointed to serve in those roles. Um, they are very critical people. They are some of the finest Sierra Leoneans. Those people, they think they sleep and wake Sierra Leone. They will serve, they will ensure that they do the very best, right? Because it's also about their own personal and collective integrity. They will not want to mortgage that for anything. So I will say to those doubting Thomases, why don't we give them a chance to deliver us a report that we can judge them on the basis of that? Okay. Right? Uh, but the, the, to some extent, the government and the president even don't accuse the opposition APC. And why, why, why do a report even when you know um, those who are behind this? Well, so wouldn't it be more credible if uh, the committee came out and say, we did not see any evidence of what Mr. President has said. So why, why wouldn't you and the president and people in government wait until there is a report instead of accusing a certain section of, of the public? Well, so now you have an opportunity to prove us wrong. Okay. Yeah. I want to watch this video quick. Um, it, it, it's a two-part video of mm. what's be happen, you know, where we've been getting the prison um, riot issue mm. and the recent statement, um, you know, of the president on Wednesday, August 10th. After that, I will ask the minister some few questions. Oh, please do. This looks like Evidence a... emerging from investigations have named known local leaders and members of the APC as being responsible for inciting, planning, financing, 
mobilizing, and in some cases, actively participating in violent terrorist attacks against the people of this country. The silence of the national APC leadership on the activities, participation of their membership and executive members in these acts of terrorist violence, senseless loss of lives, injuries, and wanting destruction of public and personal property is truly disconcerting. And let us be very clear, citizens, the actions of these persons are not peaceful political expressions as one expects in a democracy. Their actions are carefully planned, coordinated, well orchestrated and executed acts of violent terrorism targeting the state, state officials, public buildings, and private persons and property. Fellow Sierra Leoneans, Today, I greet you with a heavy heart. Let us mourn for and pray to God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to grant eternal peace to our police officers and other citizens who were violently killed on the 10th of August, 2022. On that day, the peace security and stability of this nation were shattered by persons whose insurrection was premeditated, were planned, financed, and executed with shocking brutality. Before August 10th, they had several identified themselves on social media as APC warriors, PPP, and persons who are determined to capture political power even at the cost of hundreds of lives. For some time now also, some politicians have been raising tension with divisive language and threats to make this country ungovernable. Their non-surrogates and associates have stated that they will continue to illegally use violence to unseat the democratically elected government. The events of August 10 were a clear statement of their collective intent. President Bill, uh, been the talk, but uh, the first part of this video na May 2020, mm -hmm. you know, and the second part na. August, um, where the violent protest happened. President Bill clearly identified from that same day, mm. you know, it's the APC. Where did they happen first? There is no terrorist who, who was arrested or even um, where they prosecute, we go through the courts, then jail for what happened that same day. Mm -hmm. And we've got another one, we happened recently, and it's blaming same people with the finance, coordinates and all. Is it that you know these people and you're not, you're not bringing them to justice? Well, so let us say it this way. In the 2020 broadcast, he mentioned these people paraded themselves openly on social media and even in the current instance. I mean, we all know it's an open secret mm. chap lying in the comfort and convenience of Holland or the Netherlands Adebayo, mm. who everybody knows has been speaking for the APC, mm. he's been there, he's not hidden. Mm. You've seen other ones who call themselves APC warrior, this, you know, on the eve of this insurrection. They were, you know, okay, let's start from 2020. Yeah. They had called people to come out to burn down Padenba Road, hmm? um, to riot in Tumbo, in Lunsa, in Makeni, and in all of those instances, it happened with fatality, sadly enough, right? Quite very well planned, choreographed. And as a government, you have evidence executed. of those people Let who... me come, let mm -hmm. me come. Mm -hmm. In this instance, again, the same precursors were seen. The same things happened. The threats were made, uh, the directives given, this time with greater ferocity. And these are APC people. Take over. 
Of course, who doesn't know that? Yeah, but, 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 but what I'm saying, who the people... Know? Wait, wait. Mm. wait. Mm. Okay, go ahead. Lam, go ahead. You have had the opportunity to play me various tapes. You are asking why? that to also respond. Why? So, everybody knows Adebayo is APC. I mean, everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. He speaks on the above for the most part. Um, he, he did say, and there was another guy, uh, another guy, uh, the guy who, who is alleged to have been shot in crossfire by the police. Yeah. In the police actually confirmed that he died to a crossfire. Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So, that guy, like others, were Adebayo had called for state house to be raided, to be, to be taken over, you know, parliament building, people to be lynched, burned down, and terminate, you know, the tenure of a legitimately elected government. You know, so, I mean, there is foundational grounds for all of these things. So, so what I'm asking, Mr. Minister, now the people, the, 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 the president sounds so certain. This is APC. Yes. He, so, the people, with the finance, well, so, coordinates and know them. So, in 2020, no one has been. No, it, no, no. Don't say people were not arrested. The, you know, we no, have. I'm, I'm, I'm saying people, uh, the people of APC, this uh, APC big people. Did you they, not hear a counselor or somebody was arrested in Lunsa? Uh, okay. Or something? So, so, what I'm asking is mm. if, if government knows if them people they are, why not bring them to justice? Oh, that this is happening. That's not what I'm saying to you. Don't you know? A sitting councillor or a former councillor that belongs I, to the I, APC. I, I didn't. I am not no, aware so of that. So that is part of it. Mm. That person was was in detention and was facing trial. Okay, in 2020. Yes. Uh, so he, he was the only one who financed. No, then... no, no, no. That's that's one example I can give on top of my head right now as I okay. sit here. Okay. Yeah. But I tell you, actions we are taking, and this one, because this one strikes at the very heart of our democracy, uh, at the very heart of our peace and stability. Mm. You know. Anybody who has anything remotely to do with the insurrection of August 10, you know, will be uncovered and made to face the fullest force of the law. And that's it. Investigations are unraveling. Okay. Let us be patient with the police. It's a very difficult task, they tell me. And let us be patient with them and trust the process. Does that include Dr. Samura Kamara and the mayor where don't accuse governments, don't accuse clearly of making tribal statements, insightful statements? No, I call them, for me, these are different kettles of fish. Okay. The mayor, I mean, she doesn't like people mentioning this, but this is fact. They say, you know the work with Boa Bessie, Kemokai go bring Boa Bessie yana. Yeah? That's tribal bigotry. And sadly mm. enough, it's coming from people who are aspiring to lead our great nation. Mm. Same for Dr. Samura Kamara, knowing fully well, huh, that even he himself was first employed as a cabinet minister by a retired Brigadier Julius Marabi as the head of state. In 1996, mm. uh, he picked him from amongst the crowd. Look at the president's cabinet back then, in 1996. It was so variegated, all inclusive, from all parts of the country, every tribe. You can't call a man like that a year down the line a tribalist. And that was one of his appointees mm. saying, you know, opportunities under this administration are only granted to one ethnic group coming from one. I mean, that was so sad. So you already and have two people on the radar. No, 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 no. Uh, that's 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 another matter. I'm talking about tribal bigotry. Okay. You know, I'm not talking about these investigations. I can't say the police are doing the investigations. It's their responsibility to do that. But we have to, you know, this is the moment of calling out. We have to call out people, particularly okay. people who are aspiring to lead our nation. We are talking about bringing this country together, stitching it together, reconciling it and consolidating our hard and peace. When you come there with that kind of tendency, it does not bode well. As a government, um, as we round up, how, how we are in, in, in the elections here now, less mm. than a year to elections, how do yeah. how you think, say, I want to think, say, we uh, could handle things like um, national cohesion, mm. um, the things politicians say to the public. The president has uh, been a watch and we go, mm. now look in town, mm -hmm. and he was telling people, once he was say, mm. we gets my attention at that. People in that crowd, they, mm. they don't know who they are full, they don't know who they are timney, they don't know who they are mindy. But that's they the are all Sierra Yes, so how do we get that? How do we get that? So that we don't get to that point mm. of seeing what we saw on Wednesday. So let us ask the media, let us ask the media, challenge mm. other leaders to think like the president. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the president does not see grains of sand. He sees the whole beach. Everybody he sees as a Sierra Leonean. Mm. He does not see trees. He sees forests, mm. Sierra Leoneans. So that is why when he appoints to positions, he looks for the very best Sierra Leoneans, irrespective of ethno-regional or what have you, right? So we want to challenge other politicians to also 
begin to think Sierra Leonean. You, you know, the issue of tribal well, rhetoric sometimes cuts across politics and politicians. You might be a very decent politician when it is said in the league. But he has ever said, yeah, when no, you I, lead, no. that's the apex of leadership. Yes, yeah, so, so I'm saying, so, how, how as, as a government, how, how do you intend to, to address, diffuse some of these things, even if it's, uh, it's people from within hmm. who, who have the tendency to no, do No, 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 so we keep saying, you know, when you read President Bill's manifesto, he talks about inclusive politics, inclusive development, inclusive growth. Huh? So you see his policies are all premised on achieving that objective. Number one, free quality education. It's not picking who benefits. Not so? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any salon picking where they a public school with the benefits, you know, they say that for me picking me people that are born to the street or team. Or oh, my minister of information, come on, carry my, come on, put Now for them. Everybody, they benefit. You understand? When they are giving Munafa loans, hmm, the public good is not important. Okay. When they give Munafa loan, then they say, what's that? Come on. Then they give across the board. I have had testimonies, you understand, from beneficiaries of this. When during COVID, the president said, look, uh, the service sector very hardly hit, very hard hit by this team. So what will they do? All my way they work at the hotel industry, right? Would they give them 3-3 months salary? It cuts across. You know, they ask for tribe. Mm. Huh? Where, where, um, in the, where would they pay subsidies, high subsidies, eh? for them products then they, you know they say, you now you forget, you know they get. You understand? Yeah. So the public good, down there would spread that out. Eh, eh, appointments there. This president don't make sure, see, everybody did. Cabinet now one, one, one big one pot. Then, the National Commission, Cohesion Commission will set up. The, 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 the chairman for ECOWAS, mm. um, um, the Guinea-Bissau president, mm -hmm. so he can. Yeah. He asked the president for reach out to the opposition. He as well mentioned, see, he talked to former President Kuma, mm. um, we assure him, see, he will reach out to the president, let them meet. Is there any uh, conversation on that? Okay, so let me get that straight. He did not ask the president to reach out. Mm. He asked the president to continue to engage. Okay. Yeah, because mm. the president has been engaging. Mm. Let me make it on the very clear. So by that conversation, they on for continue with the engagement with the opposition, he specifically mentioned the opposition. Well, the president has always been engaging. He will continue to improve on that. He will continue to do more engagement. Mm. They would, they, would they only hope that when they discuss honestly and sincerely, when they live there, you know, they implement then sincerely. Is, and there, is there a conversation to meet with former President Kuma? Has, has he mentioned that day? Well, I, I'm not privy to any specifics, but the president, as I know, that I know, mm. right, will be willing to speak with anybody as long as it's for the national good, as long as it's for the peace, stability, and development of this country. You remember in 1996, mm. when the, the enigmatic four days uh, sound call was, uh, was nowhere to be found. Some people even had doubts whether it existed, right? It was he, as a <coughs> young man then in his 20s, who said, look, you know what? Sierra Leone is so close to my heart. This is the only country we have. Wherever for the sound call is, we will go and bring him to dialogue. But I'll see who literally took him out of the bush, started the process which the late former President Kaba built on. So he's always been able, so, he's always bent over backwards. So we shouldn't su be surprised if we see he go McKinney one day and we see drive go to former President Kuma well, and pay a visit. In the search for peace, stability, and progress for our country, I can't take anything off the table once it's a concerns President Bill. Finally, um, Mr. Minister, the President, now we are in September, will the President be attending the UN General Assembly meetings? When next I'm here, I'll confirm that. I understand. But he has, a, he has quite a seminar role to play there this year. Uh, he will be co-chairing um, he will be co-chairing the, the Global Education meeting with the um, UN Secretary General um, Mr. Gutierrez. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, the President has been invited to a big boys club mm -hmm. foundational membership of a few heads of state around the world to pilot this program for the world. So that means, you know, the, the, the global community respects this president for the strides he has made in education, for the bold initiatives, for the investment, and his passion. I understand, he has, asked for, I understand he has asked the foreign minister to, to, to represent him. Are you aware of that? Well, I'm aware of and many things happening in government. You're not but aware I, of I this? To, no, I'm aware. 
That's but the foreign minister. So you, the president is not going. No, 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 no. I'm saying to you, mm. when next I am here, I'll update you. No, what I'm asking is. This does not want to become an information minister that lies. Okay. I'm privy to other issues. So but you're not aware of this. I am aware of anything, everything you but have you, Are you aware that the president has asked the foreign minister to represent him at the UN General Lama Assembly? Things change. Mm. Events, things can be overtaken by other events. Can I not come back here next time and confirm that before Onga? Okay, but it's clear you're not aware that the president has asked. There is nothing in government I'm not aware of. But this, this is a clear it's... question, Mr. Minister. But I'm, I'm asking. Or you know, you know, one confirm that, or you want, I'm you want clarify. Supposed to be on the delegation. Okay. Yeah, but mm. I'm saying to you, it's the, the, the Onga is not tomorrow. Mm. It starts on the 16th. Yes. Right? So mm. we still have enough no time. The presidential to plans, you go know if the president, the president well, so a big man, where well, they travel. So because they're not talking, so you know means they know the plan. No, I'm, 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 I'm aware. No. I'll I'm, show, show you a document I have. You don't it, show me. I have a copy. I'll copy of that document. But I'm telling you about it but now, I'm and you're saying. saying only fools and God do not change. So the president could change and decide to go? Only fools and God do not change. No, I want no, Mr. Minister. Change. You're talking to the public. These are Sierra Leone. So the president. The president, they go represent the public. The they go represent the right Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. That was the situation as at the time the writer. Okay. But things change. When they do, I'll come back here to confirm or deny. Okay. But for now, this, this document stands. I, I'm not going there, Alamrana. Okay. I have said to you, next week, eh? Not so you go call me. Me or can I? The president want to relax. He want he want day around for us. You know and travel. But on a normal day, the president like for day. He uh, like for day out in people there. He like mm -hmm. for hub nobody. Let mm -hmm. understanding challenges. Let share the joys and travel so there. Mm -hmm. But because he has to travel, now for go fend for this country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If he not to be that kind of person, we they expect not to be that kind of mark we don't make. Mm -hmm. This country would have gone through more challenging times, particularly during this COVID. So he's going to stay around. Well, I'll come back to you. I'll be here next week, early next week, to confirm that. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much, yeah. Minister of Information, Mohamed Raman Swaray, for joining me. I wish you well. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Best switches. Always a pleasure. Thank okay. you, Okay. Um, the Minister of Information, Mohamed Raman Swaray, just don't talk about various things, <laughs> you know, as always. But thanks very much for your time, and thanks to the production team. We support this program. And so now we viewers them. I'll see you next week. We'll meet back. I'm going to continue for watching YV.